story of Ligeia. There is a wonderful poem that was actually written by Ligeia as she was dying. And this is that poem. Lo, is a gala night within the lonesome later years. An angel throng, be winged, be dight in veils and drowned in tears, sit in a theatre to see a play of hopes and fears, while the orchestra breathes fitfully the music of the spheres. Mind, in the form of God on high, mutter and mumble low, and hither and thither fly, mere puppets they, who come and go at bidding of vast formless things that shift the scenery to and fro, flapping from out their condor wings, invisible woe. That motley drama, oh, be sure it shall not be forgot, with its phantom chased forevermore by a crowd that sees it not, through a circle that ever turneth in to the self-same spot, and much of madness and more of sin and horror, the soul of the plot. At sea, amid the mimic rout, a crawling shape intrude, a blood-red thing that writhes from out the scenic solitude. It writhes and writhes with mortal pangs. The mimes become its food, and the seraphs sob at vermin fangs, in human gore imbued. Out, out are the lights, out all! And over each quivering form, the curtain, a funeral pall, comes down with the rush of a storm. And the angels, all pallid and wan, uprising, unveiling, affirm that the play is the tragedy, man. And its hero, the conqueror worm. <laughs>